Welcome back YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you the top 5 Android apps I spotted in October. You might have expected this video to come earlier, however I was on a vacation till mid-October and that's why everything has been pushed forward. Anyways, here you have it, so let me show you what are the top 5 apps I have for you. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. The first app I have here is called Radio Garden. This app will allow you to listen and explore millions of radio stations in a really nice way. As you see here, once I open the app, it will show me the globe. And if you take a look here, you will see green dots all over the place. Each green dot represent a radio station. And if you want to start streaming a radio station, all you need to do is to drag the circle in the middle on top of any green dot and the app will start playing immediately. You can also explore other countries by zooming out and jump to the country you want. As you see here, there are millions of green dots. So let's pick any area like this one, for example, zoom in and you can start exploring radio stations that way. You can also uh, jump to your current location by tapping on the locate icon right here. It will take you to the most popular radio station in your area. You can also lock the currently playing station to avoid changing the station while exploring others like this. Tapping on the name of the station will allow you to add it to your favorites. You can share the station, visit the website, show on globe, or you can even copy the name of the song that is currently playing on the radio. You can stop and play. You can also change the volume. Tapping on the name of the city will allow you to see the related radio stations. It will also show you the nearby uh, cities so you can explore even more. Under favorites you will see the list of your favorite stations. Search will allow you to locate radio stations using the country name, the city name or the uh, station name. So for example if I'm gonna type here Cairo it will show me the uh, country on the map plus the 20 different stations that I can choose from. When I scroll down it will show me the popular ones uh, picks from the area popular in Egypt, nearby, and other cities as well. Uh, under settings, you can pay $2.49 to get the app without any ads. You also have some extra information right here, like the, uh, some information about the app itself. You can submit a form uh, to request a change on an existing radio station or request to add a new one. Here you have the contact information and finally the privacy policy. And that's pretty much it. The second app I have here is called True Pix. And this app will help you a lot if you want to change the look of your phone. So let me show you how it works. At the top, you will get two tabs. The first one is called Setups and the second one is called Papers. Under Setups, you will see Complete Setups for your phone. If you are interested in any, tap on it. Then it will tell you the requirements. For example, this setup will require Nova Launcher, Green Line Icons, Ghosty KWGT, it will also tell you the widget number inside the Ghosty KWGT. If you are not interested in the whole setup and you only care about the wallpaper, tap on the wallpaper icon and it will allow you to set the wallpaper on your phone or download it to your gallery. All right. Uh, here uh, also some apps will require extra money. So the green line icon pack here requires $0.99 to get access to it. Also the Ghosty KWGT will require the same price. So if you are not interested in setups that will cost you extra money, go back, then jump to categories. There is a category here called the freemium. And this category will include any setup that does not require any extra money. For example, this one. So here you have the icons pack for free. Uh, you also have the K KWGT for free. The Nova Launcher is also free, so you don't need to pay anything and you will be inspired by the developer of the uh, setup. You can also uh, get access to the uh, social profile for the person who created the setup by tapping on the uh, avatar over here. It will tell you how you can reach the social profile and start uh, connecting with this person. 
So now let me show you what's under the papers tab. Here you will get a really nice collection of wallpapers. They have a very simple and clean design. And I'm currently using this wallpaper, which is called Layers on my Pixel 4a. And I think it looks great. I do like the colors and the design. Uh, when you open any wallpaper, you can bookmark the wallpaper. You can set the wallpaper directly or you can download the image. But in this case, you need to have the prime version. The prime version costs $1.49 in the Play Store. There are also uh, plenty of other options to choose from. Some wallpapers are exclusive only to the prime uh, users. You can also jump to the categories. Here you have the wallpapers categorized, which is going to be easier for you if you are interested in, in, in a specific type of wallpapers. You can also access your bookmarked wallpapers from this icon at the top right corner. Tapping on this icon will give you access to the exclusive wallpapers uh, of the TruePix app. And that's pretty much it. The link will be in the description. Give it a try and let me know in the comments. Now let's move on to the next one. The third app I'm going to show you today is called Assistive Touch. This app will give you a floating button that you can place anywhere on the screen. When you tap on the button, it will give you a floating menu with certain actions that you can customize yourself. In my case, I'm using the volume up and down buttons and instead of relying on the physical keys and that will save them from being used all the time. Here you can also create a list of your favorite apps to get access to them on any screen. Under device, you will see also certain actions that you can do that are usually located under the notifications shade. So instead of pulling down the notifications shade, you have them really close to your finger, like the brightness, the flashlight, the rotation lock, and so on. And you can also customize the options here. I know this is not something new to Android. We have seen a lot of apps doing the same exact thing, but I found this app to be the best one. It's very stable. It offers also a lot of customizations. So let me show you what you can do here. The first thing you can do is to customize the floating button. You can change the size, the border radius, the opacity, and the idle opacity. You can also change the design, add your own design, and finally the color. Under color, you can change the color and the opacity of the floating menu itself. Under menu, you can add up to eight different buttons by using the plus and minus signs at the bottom. Then you tap on the empty spot and you choose the button you want to add or you can simply tap on the current one and change it as well. Under favorite applications, you can choose up to eight different apps that will appear under your favorites list. The app has a built-in screen recorder and you can change the video settings from the screen recorder menu. Also, you can change the location of the saved files. Under your video, you can get access to your screen recordings straight away. Next, actions. And here you have single tap, double tap, and 3D touch. That refers to the floating button. In my case, under single tap, I'm choosing open assistive touch, which is going to show me the menu when I tap it once. Double tap, in my case, I'm choosing home, like this. And finally, 3D touch or tap and hold will activate my do not disturb feature. So that's pretty much it with the assistive touch. Now let's move on to the next one. And the app number four called Shake Torch. This app will allow you to turn on the flashlight by shaking your phone for three times like this. As you see here, no matter how many times I do it, it will always work. So the app is very stable and reliable. The interface of the app is very simple. You only have few options. Just make sure that you have a stop shake detection turned on. This will allow the app to turn the flashlight on and off, even if your phone is locked. I also recommend turning on start service on a startup to make sure the app will run automatically if you restarted your phone. And finally, you have the shake intensity adjustment. In my case, I found this spot to be the best for me, but it depends on the phone you use. You can adjust it yourself until you feel it's the right spot for you. And the reason I'm recommending this app, because if you remember in one of my episodes, I talked about an app called Tap Tap. This app will allow you to double tap the back of your phone to do certain actions. I found some people are using this app for turning on the flashlight. If that's the case, I do recommend using Shake Torch instead and save the double tap gesture for something else. Then you will get two different actions instead of just one and finally app number five and the best one in this episode it's called split screen launcher this app will allow you to create app pairs 
which means it will create one icon for two apps of your choice. And once you tap on this icon, the two apps will start in a split screen immediately. That's exactly the same concept Microsoft used with the Surface Duo. The only difference here, the Surface Duo has two different screens, so each app will start on a separate screen. However, the developer of this app used the built-in split screen feature of Android to do the exact same thing. And the process to create your own pair is very simple. Just tap on the plus sign at the bottom. Now you can give it a name if you want to. This is something optional, but I'm gonna type the name pair. Then you need to choose the app that will appear at the top and the one at the bottom. For example, I'm gonna choose here the clock. And at the bottom, I'm going to choose the calculator. After choosing the two apps, you still can swap them by using this button if you want to. Then tap on save. Here it will show you the icon that you can drag to your home screen or add automatically. So I'm going to drag it to my home screen. And once I tap on the shortcut, as you see here, the two apps started immediately in a split screen. And I found this app to be really helpful for the people who use the split screen feature of Android. I do use the feature a lot, especially with the YouTube and the Amazon apps. So I can have the two apps open at the same time with just one tap. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the top five Android apps I spotted in October. All the download links will be in the description below if you are interested in any. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. So I hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.